one of the places we did struggle with, with some of the old packages was that uh, the pull speed was, it just seemed way off. So uh, qualifying day on Sunday for the front row of the Daytona 500 is going to be, it's going to have a lot of excitement back in it because the speeds will be back up where they belong. That's most of what drove us to, to put the small spoilers back on the car because that's what helped that situation the most, okay? The rest of what we've been dialing in on and really working hard on is the cooling systems. And, and it's, it's, not, it's not there to give anybody a written guarantee that there won't be a two-car push because we know they will. There's speed there. Once a driver learns that, they're not going to forget about it. Um, but uh, our objective is to more control the duration of that push, which we've already seen is, is becoming a little more effective. The test, uh, the test is going pretty good for us right now. Um, if you notice the speeds and the drafting and, and uh, but uh, today being just a day that, that it's uh, mostly single cars or some two car drafting going on. So there's, there's other than the uh, other than the learning about your equipment and the and the limits that the teams will be under as far as uh, water temperatures and things like that, you know, it's it's them learning about the about all of the uh, about all the mechanicals, you know, soft springs, little spoiler, uh, you know, quite a reduction in uh, in downforce, temperatures that are that are change and change rapidly due to the uh, due to the uh, the cooling system changes so but uh, so far I think I think we've had a good test not sure what it mean uh, uh, you got to check with my boss Michael Walter he knows he does. <laughs> uh, no uh, you know I, I when I think about that I, I have different thoughts one of the thought is it may not have uh, changed my, my my life much back in the day but uh if it happened this year it might be a life changer well yeah i mean i'm i'm really excited best buy is uh coming aboard for i guess it's nine races so um uh, that's a that's a good start i mean they got a lot of races that are that are empty in our car still more than two-thirds of the season but i'm really thankful that they they came on for uh, daytona 500 get the year started and uh, to be an associate in our car all year and be with with carl's car so they're um, um they've been a great sponsor of the sport they've been around for for a long time and uh, i'll be proud to fly them colors and uh, hopefully can have some success with them You know, today's a, a really big day for all of them and, and what they've done during the off season to get ready for the 500. And it's, a, you know, it's our sports unique, obviously, having our biggest race, the first race of the year. But it's uh, it's very fitting at the same time because this race, we have more more time during the off season to prepare for this race uh, than we do the others. So, um, you know, you, you bring. Uh, cars here that you, you have the extra time to just make them that little bit nicer than you normally have time to do so um, you know it, it's it's exciting to be back and uh, you know looking forward to it. it's been fun to get back in the car today and and uh, you know get running around and normally I'm you know normally I'm hiding from the the, the racetrack and testing but um, it was fun to come back this morning and get back in the car and get rolling around again Well, it's good to be back. It's uh, it's not been too long of an off season, that's for sure. But um, but uh, made the most of the weeks that I had, so it's good to be back. And the car seems pretty good so far, pretty fast, and not too different yet, as uh, as uh, we're just running out there by ourselves at this point in time. But but it's it's going to be really exciting. Obviously, uh, it's the biggest race of the year, and. Um, I really like to run well. I mean, I and I don't just want to be here. I want to run well. And I think at a place like Daytona, there's that opportunity. Um, I think I'll probably have slightly more realistic uh, of expectations for some of the other ones. But but uh, for this one at Daytona, I think there's a there's a real opportunity. The track is brand new, and the tire's really good. So the cars don't handle, and you know I'd, I'd like the cars to handle some. I'd like to have to adjust on my car and work on the handle and get it to drive good, but it just doesn't go fast enough to have a problem. So uh, that's that's a little disappointing. But I think that the changes they made are really good, and uh, I like you know if I can feel 
that we're going. I can feel that I'm going around the corner faster than I have been in the last couple of years, which is good. Been looking forward to getting in the car. I really wasn't ready to get out of the car and uh, <clears throat> been asking Steve when we we're going to test, when we just go to the racetrack just to be doing something instead of sitting around at home. Um, and we, uh, we plan to test a little bit more than we did last year before the season starts, which I think will be good for our team. And uh, it's been good, though. I've been, uh, you know, just enjoying the time off and, uh, you know, really getting charged up and ready for the year to start. Just like, you know, down here testing for three days, we don't really do that anywhere else. The same amount of work that you're seeing down here for three days, that's, that's what's happening back at the shop with the engines for, these, for this race, for, for that whole speed weeks. Uh, that's the, the efforts quadruple when it comes to how much goes into the engines just for that race and the bodies on the cars just for that race. So a lot goes into it uh, for whatever reason, more than any other event. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal when you win.